They're furry, four-legged, and sometimes a bit demanding, but always part of the family. Erin Moore of the Wood County Humane Society is with a furry friend hoping to become a member of your family. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. You have Raleigh with you this morning. I do. <laughs> cooperative for me. He's a very <laughs> friendly and cuddly cat, but we're in a new space for him, so he's like, I'd much rather explore my surroundings <laughs> than, than be on television with you. He's so. like, I'm not interested in that. So tell, tell us a little bit about Raleigh and uh, what families, uh, what a good fit might be for a family. Yeah, so because I, he doesn't want to sit in my lap at this exact <laughs> moment, he's a pretty large boy. He's probably about 13, 14 pounds. He's white and gray, very gorgeous eyes. He's polydactyl, which means he has extra toes. He is front to clawed. Um, we do know that he, ha he gets along with children and other cats. Um, and, and again, despite him not wanting to sit in my lap this morning, um, he's very friendly, affectionate, talkative. He loves to play fetch. Um, and yeah, I think just a, a home that's, that's willing to give him um, love and attention and play with him too, because he is a pretty active boy. <laughs> he, I did notice, when I did see him, he did look like a big guy, but he looked beautiful, like a white yes. and black sort of, or gray sort of uh, color to his fur. Uh, just a beautiful It's a gorgeous cat. gray. Yes, very nice. So if you're interested, uh, just give the Humane Society down in Wood County a call and uh, maybe check him out. But you guys have a couple of other events coming up here soon. We sure do. I'm going to plug our calendar contest real quick. Oh, uh, we sure. have two weeks left on that to submit your photos. Um, and then October 1st, we do start judging. So get those photos in. Details are on our website. Um, and then coming up next weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we do, uh, we're operating the bingo tent at the Lucky Fall Fest. So um, what that means is that, well, that's another fundraiser for us. Um, so we'll be there for to nine on Friday, uh, 12 to five on Saturday, and 12 to three on Sunday. And we are looking for some volunteers to help, I guess, man or woman the bingo tent. So if you're interested, you can give us a call or email and we'll get your information and get you set up there. Um, and then one other thing that we, we've been doing it for a couple of years, but uh, with COVID and some renovations that we've had going on at the shelter, mm -hmm. um, we finally are restarting our doggy day out and sleepover program. Mm -hmm. These uh, two programs are for the dogs in our care. Okay. Basically, um, any member of the public who's interested in taking one of our canine friends out for the day, doggy day out yeah or having a sleepover sleep rover with one of our dogs <laughs> um, can give us a call we do um, ask that people call first so we can kind of um, work to make that right match mm -hmm. to get the dog out with these people for the day or the night um, we do have a brief application and then when we schedule the appointment we're staff are meeting with um, these individuals again trying to match the right dog um, so this person can have fun for the sure. afternoon or the overnight we give you supplies for the dog for the day or the night and then when you return the dog we have a little report card that gets filled out to give us a little bit more information to help place that animal in their home yeah because you know in the shelter that you can only tell so much you know when they're they're in cages or you know they, they don't get to explore as much outside interact with people as much or maybe other animals or kids so it's a good opportunity to get to know them so that you guys can find a good fit for them for a forever home that's correct yeah and these programs are very popular across the nation yeah maybe you're like I, I want to bring a cat or, or I mean I want to bring a dog home for the day and hang out with one and uh, this could be a great opportunity uh, for both the dog and the person so if people are interested in that as you mentioned you have a quick application for that and if people want to adopt any animal you have there at the Humane Society what's the best way to go about doing that the best way to do that is to stop by or call. We do schedule our adoptions by appointment, so sometime, sometimes we do have appointments same day. Um, if not, we work to get you in pretty quickly because we'd like to um, get the animals into their homes. And then you'll meet with staff, talk about the uh, 
your interests in a pet and again making the right match with that pet and then we get you sent home um, with a cat or a dog kitten or puppy mm -hmm. and yeah and there you have it wonderful Aaron thank you so much for joining us this morning and we hope that Raleigh you know, you find him. He's around there somewhere and uh, finds I a friend. I see him right now. He's exploring. <laughs> good stuff. All right. Have a good one.